welcome back to Toy Transformations. This is Shell and today I have an extra furry and cute video for you. I'm gonna show you the most famous and fun street there is, Sesame Street. You're gonna meet the most awesome characters that live there. Elmo, Count Von Count, Bert, Ernie, Big Bird, and the Cookie Monster. And of course, we're gonna need the help of our LOL surprises to get there. So we're gonna transform these six lovely dollies that we used previously, and they'll end up being unrecognizable. So if you wanna learn how to turn any LOL doll you've got into our super cool version of these Sesame Street Muppets, stick with me till the end. <laughs> Let's begin with the most friendly, the most feathered, and the most yellow biggest bird there is, Big Bird. We'll cover our LOL doll's body with our dry clay, cover everything but the legs and hands. Cover his whole head too, this dolly has to go from a human shape to a bird one, so cover everything but his cute face, give it volume on the top, Big Bird has lots of feathers there. Now let's give it a very important characteristic, his feathers. We'll do it easily by pressing down a plastic straw all over it, make sure to follow this pattern. And this wouldn't look like a big bird if it wasn't yellow, so grab your bright sunny yellow acrylic paint and cover it all with it, including the hands and the face. He has a big beak, so let's shape it with clay and place it here. Did you know he can roller skate, ice skate, dance, sing, write poetry, draw and even ride a unicycle? Use tangerine in orange to paint the beak. He always says that asking questions is a good way of finding things out. Do you agree? I totally do! Don't ever stop learning! Cover the inside with red. Another one of his phrases is, I guess it's better to be who you are. Turns out people like you best that way, anyway. Let's do the eyelids. Sky blue first. So guys, listen to Big Bird and don't let anyone or anything make you think you can't be who you are. Then add a cute shade of pink. Big Bird lives in a large nest behind 123 Sesame Street and next to Oscar's trash can. Would you like him as a neighbor? Then at Brown, did you know Big Bird's got a cousin called Abelardo Montoya? He lives in Mexico and just went on vacations to LA. You can see the pictures on their very own Twitter accounts. Paint his legs orange. Guys, it's Sesame Street's 50 years anniversary. And with that trip, they're celebrating and saying that families are always together in our hearts. Then at Pink, can you believe we've been blessed with 50 seasons of the Sesame Street already? That's incredible! They have made so many kids happy and I'm sure they'll keep doing so. I can't believe we're done! I got carried away with Sesame Street's amazingness! A wise old bird once told me, and I believe it's true. He said the world's full of different birds with different points of view. But look at him, guys! You can easily make your own LOL Big Bird at home! It's so cute! Let's do someone who can't get one thing off his head. Cookies! Can you guess who he is? That's right, the Cookie Monster! Since this is a monster, we have to shape it like one with the clay. Once you do the head, go on with the body. Just so you know, the cookies used on the show are made of rice crackers, because the oils from food could be damaging to the puppet. This monster is furry, so let's make it that. Regarding the cookies, they typically bake 200 cookies per week, so approximately a total of 1,500 cookies were baked over the course of the series. Now cover the whole head blue, including the face. And just so you know, Cookie Monster's birthday is on November the 2nd. And then cover the whole body. In the show, monsters were only on the background, and he is one. But he was so cool that gradually they gave him more TV time till he became a legend. Add some clear glue on top of his head because we are still missing his characteristic googly eyes. We added these two flattened out air dry clay pieces and we're making them more shiny with Arctic white acrylic paint. Now that the white dried, we can add the pupils. Remember, the eyes are googly, so put them on different places. We put one on the top and one on the bottom of the eye. Now let's give a retouch to our dolly eyes too, with some brown. We're gonna leave our cookie monster without a cookie. We got around a piece of clay and we're giving it some texture. And of course, it's gonna be a chocolate chip cookie. They're his favorite. Just add a few thin black dots and it'll be ready. Here he is, you guys. No worry. Me, excellent swimmer. Cookie monster, watch out. Our very own Cookie Monster. I can already picture him saying, "Me love cookies." <laughs> now let's do the mysterious but friendly vampire who suffers from arithmomania. 
an affliction of legendary vampires that gives him a compulsive love of counting. Can you guess who he is? His spiky hair is black. Have you guessed now? It's Count Von Count. He will count anything and everything regardless of size, amount, or how much annoyance he causes to others around him. Oh no, let's give him his lovely skin tone purple. I love this character. I remember singing his songs in my childhood. In one song, he stated that he sometimes even counts himself. Let's give him his spiky vampire bat ears. Do you love vampires as much as me? This count lives in an old, cobweb-infested castle that he shares with many bats. Spooky, right? We already added his spiky nose, painted too. Regarding his features, he totally resembles Bela Lugosi, the most famous portrayer of Dracula. Another Bela Lugosi hint is totally his outfit, so start making it. Although he doesn't have a reflection in a mirror, he isn't entirely canonical, cause he's friendly and relaxes in the sunlight. We already did the pants, now let's do the t-shirt. Did you know that on November 14 of 1988, Count co-hosted the Two Day Show with Meryl Streep? How awesome! Now cover the outfit with raven black acrylic paint. The Count has a personal cloud that hovers over his head and provides thunder and lightning. So dramatic, I love that. Don't forget to do the v-neck, it's looking good, but now let's do the crucial element, the vampire cape. We're using a piece of black felt and cutting a trapeze out of it. Make sure it's the size of your doll. This will be the front part. And for the bottom part, we're gonna cut another trapeze. This time out of a piece of deep green fabric that we're gonna touch on the black with some clear glue. Let's add some color. Add a dotted pattern with yellow. This is inspired in the cape he wears in the show. It's got red, green, blue, pink, yellow, and black dots. Now we're adding the blue. We're not gonna fully cover it like the one he wears, but you can do it if you want to. Let your creativity loose, guys. I love that. We're adding one more color. Red. Vampires do love color red, right? Just like Marceline from Adventure Time. She doesn't drink blood. Necessarily. She drinks color red. And for the shoes, we need a black pair. Cover them in acrylic paint. Guys, he's got a big family outfit cousin named Countess Von Dahlin and an uncle Uno. Uno means one in Spanish. And now we're gonna use pebble gray acrylic paint for the ends of the pants. They're looking good. And for the cuffs of the sleeves, we'll make them match the v-neck. So again, grab some wet acrylic paint and apply it to each of his wrists. Guys, we already settled that Count Von Count's Muppet skin is purple, so make sure his hands and neck are purple too. Sit carefully so you don't stain the outfit. Let's add another red touch to his neck. It's gonna make him look like the noble guy he is. It's sometimes suggested that he may be a distant relative of Count Dracula. Do you think so? The cape is ready now, so add a big drop of clear glue on the back of his neck and make sure you attach it properly. It looks so cute. And don't forget the color! We used some more of the same black felt and again we did a trapeze, but a much tinier one. And now it's done. We're using some jet black acrylic paint to add the details of his face. Use a thin brush and do the eyes and of course his spiky triangular eyebrows. And here he is you guys, our very own version of the Count Von Count. Alright, is everyone buckled in? All set, Count. How about you, Bert? Almost. This is like going to the gym. Okay, ready? Ah, that's one, two, three. Making all the numbers fun since his debut in 1972. Let's move on to our next transformation, one of the most famous Sesame Street characters ever. The star of Elmo's world, the star of Elmo the musical, Elmo! Once you cover his head, start covering his whole body too with air dry clay. Just like we did with the Cookie Monster. They're both furry muppets living on the Sesame Street. Don't make it furry. If you were wondering where exactly does Elmo live, it's at an apartment with his mother May, his father Louie, and in some storylines, he's got a sister named Daisy. Let's make everyone recognize this character by covering it fully on Elmo red acrylic paint. Guys, Elmo's got international cousins. Pepe from Mexico and El Monosuke from Japan. Now let's do his head. Two white clay balls for the eyes and an orange one for the nose. This doll is totally screaming Elmo now. We're gonna use some white acrylic paint to give it a shiny effect. Then wait for it to dry. Now add the pupils with black paint. Unlike Cookie, Elmo hasn't got googly eyes, so try to make the pupils look symmetrical. But the eyes of our LOL doll are still showing, so let's cover them with a fresh coat of jet black acrylic paint as well. Are you ready to see the final results? And here we have him! Got 
the lovable third person speaking sesame furry red muppet in our DIY lol version. He looks awesome. Our only characters left to do now are Bert and Ernie. I love that pair. They get along perfectly. And we're gonna do Bert first. He's almost bald, so cover the whole head with clay. Attach two tiny balls for the ears. Bert loves reading boring stories, collecting paper clips and bottle cups, especially the rare figgy fizz, consuming oatmeal and studying pigeons. His Muppet skin is yellow, so cover his head with a vibrant yellow shade. He shares an apartment with Ernie. He has a pet pigeon named Bernice and his BFF is a rubber ducky. Add hair on the top. Did you know he's the president of the National Association of W Lovers, an organization devoted to recognizing and celebrating the virtues of the letter W? Now give it his orange nose. If it falls, it wouldn't be that bad since his nose has come off of his face on a number of occasions in the show. Do you remember? Then let's move on to the outfit. Of course, we're gonna try to replicate the one he wears on the show as much as possible. Let's see how we do. Sleeps first. And we cover his legs with more clay for the pants. We're using a modeling tool now to give them the proper shape. Now, we'll use green paint for them. I love how Bert's detail-oriented, serious, and has an organized mind. My favorite part about that is that Ernie totally complements his personality. For the shirt, we're gonna use a lighter shade of green. In the show, he wears a vertical stripes pattern, but we're gonna go for this. We're gonna add the stripes like this, using an ultra thin brush and a nice shade of sky blue acrylic paint. And right next to each of the blue stripes, paint a red one. Now it looks more colorful. Then we're gonna add more details using our Tiguat acrylic paint. We'll add a turtleneck, cause Bert loves that. And also the cuffs. Remember that his Muppet skin is all yellow, so make sure that you cover both of his hands and his neck with it. His footwear is gonna be dipped into midnight blue acrylic paint. You can paint it like this so you don't stain your fingers. If you recall it, you'd remember Bert wears shoes that look just like classic bowling shoes. So we're gonna add a few details with peach paint on the front and on the sides. And now let's add a fresh and brand new coat of dark brown acrylic paint right on his irises. He looks so serious, and he is, but his laughter makes me laugh. And here we have our version of Bert. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Of course, we didn't forget about his unibrow. That's one of his characteristic features. You can do it with some black clay. Let's go for our last transformation of the day. Bart's roomie, the naive troublemaker Ernie. Just like we did with Bart, we'll cover the whole head with a layer of clay. And then we'll attach two tiny balls for the ears. Did you know that he starred along with Big Bart in a daily segment called Journey to Ernie? We've had a lovely color palette with our characters today. We've had red, yellow, blue, purple, and now we'll use a bright and vibrant shade of orange for this Muppet skin. Once it dries, attach the hair. Just so you know, guys, Ernie and Bert were the first Muppets to appear in the Sesame Street pilot episodes. They've been together ever since, since the very beginning. How cute. Ernie's got a round red nose, so we'll attach it. Ernie's fond of bubble baths with his rubber ducky. Do you like to do that too? Tell me in the comments. For his eyes, we're gonna use some dark brown acrylic paint. Use a modeling tool to apply it. He looks so colorful. Then let's move on to the outfit. Of course, we're gonna try to replicate the one he wears on the show as much as possible. Let's see how we do. Sleeps first. And we cover his legs with more clay for the pants. We're using a modeling tool now to give them the proper shape. Ernie's got a simple look. He wears a pair of regular baggy blue denim jeans. Use some blue acrylic paint to replicate them. Just like Bert, he wears a turtleneck sweater. Bert wears vertical stripes. Ernie wears horizontal stripes. They complement each other so well, even with their outfit. We did the red first, and now we're gonna use a bit of vibrant yellow acrylic paint to finish and add the cute turtleneck and the cuffs. Time to paint the stripes. First, we'll do them with blue. Ernie's also known for keeping Bert awake at night. Do you think those scenes are funny? They remind me of the bananas in pajamas. When you're done with the blue, add thinner stripes in white next to the new ones. As you remember, we're using orange for his super cool Muppet skin, so make sure his hands and his neck are as orange as his face is. Ernie is frequently seen wearing dirty red converse, so we're gonna use our candy apple red acrylic paint to make this LOL part adequate. You can add a few white lines too. 
For his eyes, we're gonna use some dark brown acrylic paint. Use the modeling tool to apply it. He looks so colorful! And here he is, you guys! Bert's faithful companion! The guy with a passion for learning music! Here goes! If you've got a dream, an adventurous scheme to climb a mountain or build a fountain, just the one and only Ernie, as seen Bert and Ernie. And that was it for today, guys. Here we have the super colorful, friendly, loving, educational, positive message spreading Muppet characters from the Sesame Street that are celebrating their 50th anniversary by bringing joy to us all. First, we've got the monster that loves to eat anything, but preferably if that something happens to be a delicious traditional chocolate chip cookie, Cookie Monster. Then, there's the most amazing yellow bird, the one who thinks the alphabet is just one big word, our much-loved Big Bird, followed by one of our most favorite duo ever, Bird and Ernie. There's Bird with his unibrow and his vertical stripes, and Ernie with his red nose and horizontal stripes. Next to them is the lovable Elmo. He's looking so fluffy and so red, he looks just like in the original show! And last but certainly not least, the extra extravagant vampire count, count von count, showing off his extra cool vampire teeth. Tell me in the comments below which was your favorite. If you're as happy as I am for the Sesame Street turning 50, give us a like, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more fantastic transformations. We love you so much! See you next time! Bye bye! bye.